guys, it's Grants Comics here, and today we'll be reviewing Superman, the House L number one right here, boom, right there. I think this is a modern comic, I believe, but um, I'm just gonna get straight to the story. So the in the um, beginning, um, Brainiac's son, Brainiac four, he is like tracking this, like div, uh, these aliens or these um, outside species or whatever and he's tracking these pe these species down and as he's doing it like certain parts of the machine is going down like there was one that's like 56 percent 34 percent something like that and as he's doing this there's like other like superheroes other kids of superheroes there's like i think there's one guy named brandon i think and there's like i don't know I'm just like not really a DC person, so here's all the ki like the kids of the old school superheroes. So there's like um, let me see, let me try to find their Cal E, which is the Superman's the granddaughter, I guess. And then there's like uh, yeah, there's Brandon. There is uh, Ro Rowan. Um, no, yeah, there's Rowan and there's like the brother. There's just, like so many people in Brainiac 4 and there's a lot of people. And the first thing they encounter is like these alien, like these alien looking creatures. Um, and then there's this girl who like wears like a blue Superman suit with, or a Krypton, Kryptonian suit with the neon uh, Superman logo. There's this uh, girl, this woman who kind of looks like uh, that um, bad guy from Marvel Nemesis, that uh, girl who has the blades, I forget her, I forget her name, but um, there's, these are the alien, these are the bad guys they fight first, they're, they're like um, bug people or beetles and stuff like that, so these uh, these beetles try to take down the house of L and um, they this is the first peep the first thing they encounter and after that uh, you know they fight they fight and then one of the aliens actually kills Brainiac 4 um, in the process yeah like um, let's see I can find uh, where they, they attacked Rainac for. There's like a Supergirl with armor uh, chick. Um, there's this guy who looks like Martian Manhunter, like a gray version with a Kryptonian logo on there. So all these people are basically Kryptonian. Uh, guys oh yeah and then one of the bad guys one random bad guy just rips bring it for limbs off right there there you see like, you see like his robotic parts and stuff and then um the red king takes over bring it for and wants to rule the world so he tries to possess brain act for stuff like that and um after they encounter like later doing the during another panel they encounter like a doomsday like a mini doomsday minion sort of thing so here's where they encounter the doomsday minions so they encounter them after and then they encounter this uh, flash looking character um, her name is black racer I believe but yeah they fight this doomsday meaning for a while and then uh, py pyro pyro I'm just gonna call pyro this dude he's basically the son of Superman he comes in and saves the uh, saves the house of L. He tries to help them out with the Doomsday minions, but he's very, like, he's very cocky. He just like, oh yeah, I'm better than all of you guys, stuff like that. 
and then there, the other Kryptonians, they're mad at him because how cocky he is. And in a way, if I ever met somebody as, as cocky as Pyro, I would I would be mad too. But there's one that says, um, where, he, where Pyro says, and that's the symbol you dishonor will finally become to great mean things. To mean great things. Where he says, like, right here. That, that's just, that's like cockiness. Like, even though you're the son of Superman, that doesn't mean you have to be cocky. And this is what you get for being cocky. So, um, while that's going on, they fight the whole, they finally, like, um, they fight the Doomsday Minions and stuff like that. And then Superman finally comes in. Like the older version of Superman right there. And that's like Pyro's uh, father. Superman's, uh, that's his son. And Superman basically wants to help him out. He wants him to be a better superhero. And just be like not like a bitch or not being cocky. Rather than being a superhero. You know, and actually help out his teammates. So he like grabs his hand, says, hey, I want you to come with me, son. I'll train you to be a better Kryptonian than I was when I was your age, stuff like that. So, um, if you guys want to read this, if you guys want to get this, it's Superman, the, the, out, the House of L, Future State, Issue 1, right here, boom. I believe this is, this came out either last year or this I think this came out last year which is cool this cover and this story actually reminds me seeing Superman old man Superman right here like his like face reminds me of old man Logan which is cool but the whole like DC future state stuff like it also reminds me of uh, Frank Miller's Dark Knight where when Batman was you know retired from be or Bruce Wayne was retired from being Batman and he uh, trained Robin or Dick Dick Grayson stuff like that and in Batman Beyond it, it just reminds me of that when I first saw this cover when I was doing the uh, unboxing that that I did a couple days ago I looked at this and I was like this cover this whole this cover reminds me of the Dark Frank Miller's Dark Knight, and it reminds me of Batman Beyond. So uh, this that's why I wanted to read it to see if if Old Man Superman um, is even gonna be on here, or is he just part of the cover? But obviously, like you saw, he is part of the cover, part of the story. As awesome, he made an appearance. But um, anyways, that's it. Gonna that's all. That's gonna be it for now. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Alright.